guys, it's Jalen Monet, and I'm back with another video, okay? Let's get into the skin. Skincare routine coming soon. Right now, I'm currently at the shop, so y'all know what that means. I got another lash video for you guys. I'm sorry if it's loud in here. It's super hot. It's literally, 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 literally 85 degrees in here. I just got here. I should have left the AC on overnight because my glue needs to be stored at 65 to 75 degrees, okay? Yeah, that's a hydrometer lash check. If y'all don't have one, y'all need to go get one. But yeah, so I just picked up this package of some lashes, okay? This is T Wink. So I'm gonna just be opening this up with you guys. Restocking and stuff like that. I ordered a bunch. That's why it's in a big box. Like, I ordered a lot, okay? Highly recommend this brand. I love T Wink's. Very easy to fan. I do use handmade, like hand. I do use handmade fans, guys. I do not use easy fans. Honestly, handmade fans just give you that snatched look, okay? I have to cut on this fan, too. It's hot. It's hot. So I hope y'all can hear me. So, yeah, let's just open this up. Um, all my last checks to my ebook has dropped trying to gain a managed clientele. So, if you guys didn't already go purchase, make sure you guys go purchase. Literally only $20. I spill all the tips, tricks, gems that they do not tell you guys in the lash industry, okay? I got two clients today. Yeah, I got two clients today. Um, one at three and one at six. It's like 2.40ish. So, yeah, I came here a little bit early just so, you know, I can get started and stuff with filming. I'm going to show you guys how cute it looks inside. Literally, like, this looks super cute. I guess if you spend over a certain amount, she gives you a little gift. Period. Got me a little face mask. I think this is a face mask. Yeah. Damn, these just falling everywhere. This is real cute. I got a bunch of trays, like literally so much trays, guys. I done bought it out. And these trays, these not cheap, okay? These trays is not cheap. But y'all really need to use quality, okay? We like quality over here. I got CC and D curl. I'm a little upset that she didn't have C curl, but it's okay. Now, okay. So if it's brands that I really like and they don't have certain curl types, I always have backup blends blends backup brands this is nova lux so her trays are good too and hollywood lashes so these are my top three trays right now okay yeah So I am gonna film both clients for you guys today. I also do want to do like a deep clean, really sanitize, wipe everything down. Um, last time I probably showed you guys my room. Um, I was still definitely decorating. I'll show you guys what I added. I got this real cute sitting area. So I definitely need another picture frame. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys. So yeah, I definitely just want to do a nice deep clean. I got a bunch of trays I need to throw out. Like, I run through trays so fast, like, so fast. But low-key be my, it low-key be my fault because when I finish, like, a line, you see how these are just sitting here? This is, like, a whole tray, and they just get smushed, like, oh, my God. Not a whole tray, but, like, a whole strip. Like, I need to stop doing that. I had a bunch of trays. Right now, I'm literally just prepping for my client, guys. Prep before your client saves you so much time. She's getting a freestyle set, but this is like a regular client, so I usually know what lens she wants to do, and I'm definitely gonna mix curls with her. So, yeah, I like to get the lash strips out that I'm using on them. I like to rip my tape up, microfiber tape, guys. Definitely recommend buying this in bulk on Amazon, cause one of these at the store, 
it's like twelve dollars so i get a whole pack with like four or five of them and it's only nineteen dollars so yeah the stores is always going to be more expensive so i like most of my supplies besides lash trays squeezes and stuff i definitely get from amazon and yeah i do need to make more lash baths do i even have Oh, I do have more shampoo bottles, so I'm gonna make some more lash baths. That's what I gotta do. And yeah, so I'm gonna just record my clients. You guys are gonna do a nice deep clean with me, and we're just gonna chat. I love doing these lash videos. I have not did one in a while, but you guys love them, and I love them too. They just be like a lot of work to film. Not even like that. It's a lot of work, but I feel like when I'm lashing, like it's so much stuff going on. Like I literally be forgetting to film, but I'm filming phone is charged today like i'm filming okay i really love the black walls like let me know what you guys think i should do with the butterflies right here like i don't know if i should get black butterfly not black but like a different color like i don't know like when it comes to decorating i change my mind so often like i wish you guys could have seen the transition my room has literally gone through like every time my clients come in they be like oh my god you added something like yeah i just I cannot make up my mind when it comes to things like this. I went to the gym this morning, guys. And, yeah, I've been so consistent with going to the gym. Like, round of applause for me, okay? Round of applause. Because I've been, like, real consistent, okay? Uh, but then I got Chipotle. Not, yeah, I got Chipotle after. I should have got my protein smoothie, but tomorrow, okay? But, yeah, I've been real consistent. Like, I love that for me. Because me and consistency don't you know, go together. But we go together real bad now, okay? Real bad. Like, I just love how new trays look. Like, oh my god, they look so pretty. And this is her velvet mink collection, if you guys were wondering. I love it. Long as you got your eyes, got your trippy on them private dress, taking trips, come back at six, wake me and your child. And then, won't lay today, make me wonder who you might have been playing with. Makes me wonder who you think you're playing with. I'm just a myself.
dreamers But she's from Nicaragua Thought you was Persian love Are we turning up? Or are we wasting time? Girl, don't waste my time No party I don't just wanna chill So last time y'all see me, I was at the shop, had on a different wig and oil, yeah. So I installed my first wig ever, kind of successfully. Not really like, if I lift it up, it looked crazy, but it's gonna stay down. This side, cause I already had this wig installed, so you could kind of tell like, I would have, I feel like I would have been able to do the baby hairs better if I originally did them. But I flat, I don't know, I don't know, but it don't look that bad. I only need this in for five days because i'm about to get my hair done but i needed something because that red wig it just wasn't given no more it was giving real stiff okay but last time i see me i was at the shop i'm currently in the gym parking lot right now i'm about to go inside i'm not gonna take y'all with me because i really be trying to be in the zone like i'm not one of the girlies who could just film working out i've tried but i don't know maybe eventually i would do that but like it just be like it'd be a lot of work it'd be a lot of work but i will take you guys with me after we're gonna go get a car wash we're getting our baby stormy wash because she look a mess like she just looks she look a mess then we're gonna get a protein a uh, protein shake i'm gonna try this new one usually i just get peanut butter vanilla protein bananas um and almond milk but i'm gonna get almond milk oats well everything i just said but i'm gonna add oat milk to it because it's good for like weight gain and stuff want to gain weight but like to the right places you feel me but yeah i can't wait to get my lashes done because i feel like these strips look so thick and i kind of like the more natural lash look but i need the lashes on because i just look super super 
dead like i just look super 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 dead but i've been real consistent with going to the gym and i love that for me i've been real consistent with going to the gym and i love that i feel like i was reading this book yesterday called the motivation manifesto and i finished the chapter with fear but this new chapter I'm on is called motivation basically saying how you build motivation is basically having ambition like how i'm gonna build me wanting to be motivated to go to the gym is me constantly being consistent going to the gym is how you build motivation so that's what we're doing today that's what we're doing today so um yeah i want to hurry up because it's 12 44 i want to be at the gym by two the latest so i can get my car washed and get my protein shake because i have a client at five o'clock so yeah it's just all a balance it's all a balance so i will hit you guys after I'm at the car wash. They gave me the sticker purple so they know to put lavender. Smell good in my car. Wish my camera focuses. But yeah, look at, like, I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot going on, okay? Right, guys i'm back because the way he was looking at me he was so confused like and then my car declined i'm like wait i had to make sure it was money on my damn account but it was something on their end but you know when your car declined you're like wait yeah it was like that but let's try It's good and i like um i like my protein shakes after the gym because basically like it's good for like i don't know something to do with your muscles okay something to do with your muscles but yeah i had ordered pizza yesterday and wings and it's leftovers and i really want a pizza so bad like i'm craving a pizza right now and i'm trying to just stop but one pizza won't hurt right and maybe, since I just came from the gym, if I eat the pizza, it'll go straight to my ass. Like, you gotta think smarter, not harder. Period. It's okay with the oats. It's not the best thing ever, but I'm a smoothie shake girl, so it's like, whatever. Like, it's, it's like, whatever. I could drink it, but it's not the best thing in the world. Mm -mm. If y'all wanna know, if I'm on a specific diet or anything, don't ask because I'm not. But I'm trying um, to be, but I'd be so busy. I feel like I don't have time to cook. So it's like, I kind of eat whatever is just, whatever is just there. Like my hair looks crazy. My hair looks crazy. I need darker tints though, because I look, I be looking crazy and people be all in my car. Like I have tints. like. I'm assuming they're not dark enough that they can see in my car. Like, I hear you crazy. And I got a good ass park too, literally like, in this pack, cause I'm in downtown Hackensack right now. But this is definitely my new fave spot. So yeah. So I'm about to go home guys. I'm about to shower and everything. I had a good workout if y'all were wondering. Um, I didn't do as much as I wanted to do because I'm kind of on the time crunch today. But guys, like, even if you have a busy day or still got stuff to do, even if you're in the gym for 10 minutes, still go because what you do in the morning sets the tone for how the rest of your day is going to go. So, yeah, but I was in there probably like an hour. I did treadmill for 30 minutes. I did the, um, I forgot the name of it, the abductor machine. I did that. I did, like, I did a few sets of those. I did this other machine where you hold the thing and you pull down. I wanted to do the bench press, but somebody was over there, so I think it's called a bench press. I don't know, but yeah, somebody was over there. This is like stuck here, and it's pissing me off. I'm not no hairstylist, but I'm gonna learn because like, but if y'all really look and zoom in, if y'all really look, zoom in. The lace is melted. Okay, I have no problem with lace. 
it was just these damn baby hairs but i feel like it's giving like i don't know it look natural like i don't know i don't know but the next time you guys will probably see me is when i am at the shop hey guys so i'm at the shop right now i didn't record the client i just had because it was like a quick like 30 minute fix so i'm just sitting here drinking wine about to go home and eat but i wanted to talk to you guys really quick for you know all my business owners and stuff like that someone hit me up the other day you know what i'm saying like they're discouraged like they just want they were supposed to basically move didn't move and plan all their clients over there i don't know why but i wanted to let you guys know and just talk to you guys real quick business wise because i have been doing this forever it feels like when i'm about to this but literally like you guys cannot focus on who's not supporting you focus on who is supporting you and i feel like that's such a mistake that business owners make like i never like post that oh my friends don't support like that has never been me but i know that is a lot of people because that's so common but don't focus on that like it's strangers will support you more than your friends strangers will support you more than your family focus on who is supporting you and that's what you'll attract like your mental is so strong if you have the mental that oh nobody's supporting me nobody's gonna come to me that's what's gonna happen like our souls react off what we're thinking and what we're feeling so yeah just make sure try your best i know it's easier said than done but try your best to have a strong mental like that is so important in the industry like even when my days are slow i don't think oh i'm having a slow week i'm having no i can tell like i'm gonna get booked up i already know and i be booked up so like your mental is super 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 strong like you have to train yourself to be mentally strong guys like we control our thoughts and i feel like this is not talked about enough but we literally control our thoughts a lot of negative thoughts of fear and stuff that we be having nine times out of ten is not our thoughts so yeah just be able to decipher what is your thoughts what's not your thoughts but like i don't want to discourage you guys like literally just keep posting be cons be consistent you need to consistency is so important like in life be consistent at everything you do and you will see progress if you're not posting how do you expect clients to book they're not seeing your work like yes mental is one thing but effort and action is another too so both of them combined you're gonna do amazing you're gonna do amazing okay but yeah like you need to be consistent guys make sure you guys are posting do not let fear doubt or anything all those emotions are not yours do not let that get in the way of you posting your content don't let the fear of being stupid stop you from posting your content like literally post 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 be consistent be consistent like okay guys so yeah that was like a quick little message for you guys okay i love you guys and yeah i just want to close this video so i love you guys make sure to purchase my ebook on how to gain and manage clientele if you haven't already the link will be in the description down below don't forget to like comment subscribe share have your post notifications like on so you guys don't miss to upload from your girl and i will see you guys later i love you guys